Hey guys, I'm here to show you my September favorites. I actually don't have as much as I usually do and this month is all um, makeup products. So no wacky, weird, miscellaneous products. It's all makeup. So I'm just going to get right into it. I'll start from the top of the face and just go on down. And so the eyeshadow palette I've been reaching for a lot this month is my Black Radiance Downtown Browns one. It has all these pretty like plum purple colors and it has some really pretty highlight shimmery colors up here this is a really easy palette to use on its own because this color is a great crease color it's just great I love it so much and it's really easy to just grab and just put it on I actually wearing it today love it to death the other palette I've been using a lot is my neutral um, coastal Scents hot pots palette and it comes with a little mirror. I don't want to blind you guys. But yeah, um, it has a Coastal Scents, my Coastal Scents Hot Pots palette. And I swatched all of these on a past video. So you can look for that if you saw any shadows that you like that you would like to see how they swatch. Sticking with eyes, I did a video on this specifically um, on a Wednesday, wet Wednesday. And I was talking about my NYC Big Bowl Mascara. I love this mascara. It's... It does great things for my lashes. I'm not wearing it today simply because I'm trying out a different mascara. I'm not too impressed with it, but you know, we'll see how that goes. I've been trying to get more into liquid liner. I think it would be easier instead of having to try to find a brush and then put it on the brush and then wing your liner out and all that kind of stuff. I just think it'll be easier to just have a liquid liner and that way you can just have it all in one and you don't have to find a brush and dip it in a pot and everything like that. So the first liquid liner I've been loving is my NYX Studio Effects, I think it's called, Studio Liquid Liner. And I have a few colors of these, but the black one, of course, the only thing I don't like about it is that it dries shiny. And I don't want a shiny finish all the time, but it just has a little thin brush. It's super, super thin and super, super easy and black. Like, that's amazing. But that shininess that you see is exactly what's going to, exactly how it's going to dry. And so I went on a hunt and I found this one that I really love, which is the Milani um, Eye Tech Extreme Liquid Liner. And it's just like a pencil, um, a pen felt tip liner. It looks like that. And it's also really black as well. You can see that. So. I really like this this isn't waterproof though so I'm on the hunt again for a marker type liner that's waterproof so if you know of one that's really good and it's really black and you know that's in the felt tip I prefer the felt tip although I can kind of try to work the other kinds because I'm new to it so this is easier but if you know of one that's waterproof and really black and has great staying power please let me know down in the comments just comment and let me know the last eye product is actually something that's very rare for me but they are a pair of lashes and these are number 140 and they're really pretty flirty type lashes and they actually I've worn these before and that's why they look all wonky but these are my favorite type of lashes I'm not the best at lashes so these are really easy for me to put on and they give me that really flirty look without being looking too heavy and looking too like bat wings or your eyes you know that kind of look I don't like that look but lashes not every day so I like these these were I don't know they don't really have a brand I got them from like a beauty supply store so that's all I have for eyes for face my blush that I'm going to talk about is actually almost taking over my beloved mellow wine blush and it is another wet and wild blush and it's heather silk so pretty it's such a really pretty this is pinky more pink than mellow wine is it's more of a bubblegum type pink that's it right there it's more of a bubblegum type pink it's so pretty on the cheeks it's more of a noticeable color than mellow wine is and so anytime i want my cheeks and my um, blush to stand out this is the blush I reach for because it's beautiful and it looks great against my skin tone and lastly we're talking about lips my lips lately have been dry I don't know why I couldn't even tell you but I finally found my favorite lip balm again it's the Nivea kiss of honey looking honey um, lip balm I think it's the name of it 
milk and honey a kiss of milk and honey lip balm and this actually is very dirty looking but I'm almost out of it I need to get some more but this is just the most moisturizing lip balm I've ever used when I first bought it I remember not liking it and I bought it off of a recommendation of someone else someone else's video I think it was Jen Staz or I don't know I can't remember but someone else recommended it and they loved it and I bought it and I hated it I was like why would they recommend this who likes this but I kept using it and I actually fell in love with it this is one of the most moisturizing lip balms I've ever used um, it stays on for a long time it makes my lips feel moisturized for the longest period of time um, so I just love this and it smells really good I haven't been able to find this I don't know why it's so hard to find but when I find it again I'm gonna have to uh, get another two because yeah I'm definitely gonna need another one of these and my last two products are lipsticks and this basically is a type of lipstick but I'm going to show you my two favorite colors, well actually my two favorite colors lately. Um, they are the Wet n Wild Mega Last lipsticks and they are, they're freaking amazing you guys. Like it's the staying power of these matte lipsticks are beautiful. They're only like what, like $1.99 in drugstores and the staying power, the pigmentation of them just it's amazing that for $1.99 you can get such great lipsticks. Like these stay on better than a lot of my MAC lipsticks. I do love my MAC lipsticks. I'm not saying that I don't, but a lot of my MAC lipsticks come off a lot easier than these Wet n Wild ones do. The ones I've been loving is in 906C, 906C, D, 906D. It's, I think the name of it is Wine Room. And it's this really pretty red color. I think it's showing up brighter on the screen. It's like a really, it's like a hot pinky red. Really pretty color. And the next lipstick is the complete opposite of the spectrum. This is 908C. And it looks like this. The name is Sugar Plum Fairy. And it's been said that this is a dupe for Max Rebel lipstick. I don't have it so I can't compare, but a lot of people who have both have said that that is a great dupe for it. This is a really pretty, um, really, I can't really explain, it's like a dark pink, but it's kind of, it's not really a red, it's like a burgundy. Oh, I think it's looking brighter on camera than what it really is. It's beautiful. I love these colors. So those are my favorites for September. Let me know your favorites. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.